forensic of, uh, of cyber, that's very much needed. Forensic of uh, biochemistry, which is very much needed. Forensic of, uh, you're now talking of uh, UAVs. All those capacities are needed, uh, both for security, uh, defense, but also anti-crime. Yes. Uh, and the good thing is that there is a high potential of cost recovery. It doesn't have to, people will pay. People will pay the, 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 the banks, the what, they, they want to sponsor, to create capacity. Uh, if I'm a bank, I need people who can do forensic investigation in my bank. And then, then, then the government, the departments. The, so it, it's both uh, it's both a knowledge, but also uh, a business, uh, a, a business uh, venture. It, it does both. We hope, Your Excellency, with the, your guidance, we want to start in this coming November. We start the campus. Your Excellency, the the team is here to work with us to have that detailed project plan and also how uh, get an action report in order to operationalize the National Forensic Sciences University what they really call the Africa campus because this will be the first one. But they'll also start with 10 different short courses which will be targeting the judiciary, law enforcement agencies like the police, uh, UPDF, uh, the banks, the insurance, the Uganda Wildlife Authority, and all. Sir, so, what Uganda needs to do in order for the course to start in November, we need to furnish the building, we need to provide the non-technical staff. Uh, the visitation team has identified seven technical staff. Three are civilians and four are working with the Ministry of Internal Affairs. We will request, sir, that they be attached to Ministry of Defense for this period because they want to develop them as the future uh, professors who will run the school. For example, so uh, we are having a lot of students who have done their graduation in different areas. Somebody has done BSc, then that student can be admitted in MSc Forensic Science, MSc Forensic Biotechnology, MSc Forensic Toxicology, MSc uh, then Forensic Pharmacy. So, lot of areas are there. Technological areas, sir, we are having Forensic Engineering. We are having some Forensic Structural Engineering, wherein uh, road buildings, construction of dams, construction of road buildings. So, what type of frauds? or what type of crimes are committed in this area that can be identified. So that is uh, one important area which actually we, we would like to bring in Uganda. Pharmacy is one of the business sir, where lot of frauds are happening. So how we can identify it this time? Narcotic drugs, now it is imported from different countries, cross-border terrorism, all, all the areas. So where we are having separate academic courses, like we are having sir master course in Homeland Security. We are having police science. So these courses will be useful to the police of Uganda and neighboring countries also, sir. One uh, important area like we are having uh, forensic accounting course where fraud investigation, economic crimes in the banks, financial institutions and governments and any other what type of frauds are happening, how to identify it, including money laundering, terror funding, all mm. types of crimes can be investigated by these experts, sir. Mm. So we can import technology from anywhere, but human resource can be developed only in our country. So mm. that's why we have decided that we will start the academic program uh, immediately from November.